It's very unique to Jacksonville, like nothing you've ever seen. And the goal is to have people from around the city share a meal together. It's called Jacksonville's Longest Table. Just imagine. This is what Independent Drive looks like right now, but a long table will stretch hundreds of feet along the road. So let's talk about the meaning behind this. The CEO of The Longest Table, Daniel Davis. Community Outreach Director, Shamika Wright from the Jackson Chamber here on News for Jackson. Good, Good morning. morning. Here. Pleasure. Yes. Good morning. Shamika, let me start with you because this, the, the Longest Table, it's a symbol, it's a metaphor for something. Yeah. And it's really about bringing people together. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Um, we are really excited. Um, Daniel Davis brought me on to do community outreach and to find ways to bring the entire community together um, by using the business community. So um, decided that with all of the chaos that's going on, what better way to bring people from every side of town, north, south, east, west, and the beaches together at one table to share a family style meal and to just have meaningful dialogue. Yeah, and that's, that's the key here because we really don't know what everybody else is all about these days. And we've got to open a line of communication. We have a great community, and the Chamber is known for bringing jobs to this uh, city and, and growing jobs organically. And we really feel like we can't leave any neighborhoods behind. We really need to reach out to everybody and, and make everybody have the opportunity for hope. And so when we brought, we brought Shamika on board to reach out to that community, one natural step was, why don't we bring everybody together and let them break bread? And it's a great opportunity for everybody to understand uh, the different parts of town and, and what the issues are in our community. And it's great to bring everyone together because we are a growing city and, and excited about what's happening in the future. And if you think about it, when families want to know what's going on, when mom and dad want to know what's going on with the kid, you sit around you know, the dinner table sure. and you talk about your day. This is a chance to talk about the struggles that are very real in this community and maybe open some eyes to well, finding resolutions. Yes, it is, it is. And that was the idea behind The Longest Table. Um, just to start that conversation, to create that dialogue, to bring it from the kitchen to the streets. So, and not only beyond the kitchen to the streets, but also to your fellow um, community. And when you started setting the table, pardon yeah. that little cliche there, yeah. uh, what was the reaction? Like well, long overdue? It, and absolutely, it's, it's something that's overdue. We have members of the chamber that want to sponsor the event, want to donate food. We want to offer this up to the community uh, to be a part of it. Uh, there's going to be an availability for people to sign up and, and to join the leaders, the elected officials, the mayor, the sheriff, um, city council members, legislators, plus business leaders and, and folks that have never even been to the chamber before. So it's a great opportunity for us to bring everybody to, together and to grow uh, the city of Jacksonville. And I assume it's no accident that it's happening now when there are a lot of questions about you know, what's going on in communities and, and the struggles that people face. Yes, there are. There are. And it's going to happen after the election. So, of course, hopefully there won't be any political talk, but there may be. Um, but you're right. It is. I mean, this is like the perfect time with everything that's going on around the nation and also here in our local community to give people an outlet to be able to discuss those things. Just open a dialogue. And, yes. boy, it, it leads to so many solutions. You would be surprised. So the Longest Table Community Dinner is coming up Thursday, November 17th at 530 It'll be at the Hyatt Regency Jacksonville Riverfront on Coastline Drive East. Tickets will be handed out at five different locations in Jacksonville this Saturday from 9 until noon. Made it easy for you. You'll find those locations on newsforjax.com. Just look on the morning show page. Daniel?